Hello everybody, this is Maypok from Gamers Daily reviewing The Sims 3 for the PC. Yes, the good folks at Maxis made a new installment to their very popular series, The Sims. Luckily for people like me who really like the game, but dislike buying 50 expansion packs, we're starting all over again. The Sims 3 brings all the same multi-managing, life-planning, peaceful gaming that you've grown accustomed to. To best show the game, I think I'll walk you through the playing process. First off, you'll need a sim. The creation process is fairly advanced, with the only major lack I've found being the choice of hairstyles and clothes. Fortunately, Maxis will be releasing more things to buy online for your sims in the future. For a fee, of course. Aside from the minor hair gripe, however, I found that you can really make some different sims in the game, ranging from my Native American friend, Hunting Wolf Rising Sun, to my other friend who never stops eating, Heavy Harry. In the end, the options are fairly limitless. Now that you have your sims looks, you'll need to choose their personality. These can differ completely, from brave to cowardly, from genius to insane. And while some traits may seem like a hindrance, they all have their benefits. For instance, when an insane sim feels the need to be social, they can simply just talk to themselves. Who needs friends? After you've created your sim, you'll need to choose a place to move into. When first starting, you'll need to either choose a small lot to build a tiny house on, or a house that looks very much like a trailer. When buying a house, you can choose to buy the house already furnished, or, if you think you can spend money wiser, you can choose unfurnished. Now that you've bought a home and spent most of your money on the essentials, there's not much time to waste. Time to get a job. Yay. You can join a law enforcement career, or a criminal career. What about a science career? Or maybe even a culinary career? Or you can just skip getting a regular career completely and decide to be a butterfly collector. In The Sims 3, you can live off of practically any hobby or side job. A writer can easily pull off getting 10,000 simoleons a week. As a stargazer, I was able to get a few thousand simoleons a day in finding bonuses. I even made thousands a day as a rock collector. So now we have a job. What now? Well, for every sim, you need to choose a lifetime goal. Some want to become master criminals. Some just want to be a heartbreaker. Personally, those are what I would attempt to get my sims first. During any sim's life, you won't just have lifetime goals to achieve, there will also be smaller goals in their lifetime, like painting a picture, or getting a raise, or learning a skill. When you complete these tasks, you will be rewarded points, of which you can buy lifetime rewards that will help your sims in life, from making it so they don't have to go to the bathroom, to making a sim a legendary host that everyone will love to party with. Whether that includes drugs or not, I suppose that depends on the sim. My biggest gripe with the game was that I felt the sim's lives were too short. Luckily, as I found out, you can make it so a sim lives up to 900 sim days, which is somewhere in the neighborhood of over 90 hours of play. Or, if you just want your sim to live in their glory days as a young adult, you can make them live forever. With no major complaints to be had, solid, fun gameplay, and replayability that's through the roof, I'm giving this addicting yet casually enjoyable game my seal of approval and a 10 out of 10. Visit GamersDaily.us for more reviews of mainstream and independent games. Join us on Twitter at GamersDaily. And if you have anything bad to say, visit the exit right behind you.